Hi there! Today, Charlotte and I are going to be talking to you about density. Charlotte, can you please tell us what density is? Density is a measure of how much mass is contained in a given unit. Oh, yeah, density equals mass over volume. Thank you so much. So density equals mass over volume. But what does that mean exactly? Sometimes it's easier to try to show what something means rather than trying to define it with words. And so today, we're going to show you what density is. And the experiment that we'll be doing today is that we'll be making a water sandwich. And you can do this at home as well. You just need a few household materials. You're going to need a sugar source, an oil source, and water. Our sugar source will be that molasses. Our oil source will be olive oil. That's right. So we'll be using molasses and olive oil, but you could also use as your sugar source honey. You could also use as your oil source any kind of vegetable oil you like. And we've also chosen to color our water with some food coloring to make it pretty. And so, Charlotte, as you know, scientists make hypotheses or educated guesses about what might happen in the outcome of their experiments. And so for this experiment, what is your hypothesis? My hypothesis is that the oil is going to flow to the top. So you think that the oil will float to the top? And, and why do you think that? Because it's much more light. Because it's much more light than the other materials. Okay, we'll see. So Charlotte, would you please demonstrate? Charlotte is going to pour in some oil first. And remember, it doesn't matter what you pour, pour in first. You can do any of the materials because the light one will rise and the heavy one will sink. Thank you, Charlotte. That's perfect. She poured in some oil. And I'm going to pour in some molasses. And it doesn't matter how much as long as it's enough to demonstrate what you're trying to, to do. And then Charlotte will pour in some of the water. See what happens. Thank you, Charlotte. That's great. Oh, and what's happening? The layers are separating. Look at the different colors. Charlotte, what floated to the top? Oil. The oil floated to the top. And what sank to the bottom? Mm, molasses. The molasses sank to the bottom. That's right. And in the middle, we have our blue water. We made a water sandwich. Excellent. So your hypothesis was right. And our conclusion is that the oil is le less dense than the water and the molasses, and the molasses is more dense than the oil and the water. And of course, since they have different properties, molasses ha contains a lot of sugar, and oil is oil, and water is water, that they've separated into really distinct layers there. And you can also try this experiment using different materials that you have around the house. For example, you can use baby oil, you can use alcohol, you can use other kinds of materials, as long as whenever they're mixed together, um, they're not dangerous. dangerous. Thank you. <laughs> and we also tried this experiment earlier, and the same thing happened. And with this, uh, we actually mixed around the water and the molasses a little bit more, and so they, they mixed um, together a bit more, but as you can see, the oil still flows to the top even after all this time. And how this is useful for scientists is um, in, in a variety of ways. And one that comes to my mind is whenever you had scientists that were studying uh, about water pollution, during the oil spill, their knowledge of density was very important because they needed to know what materials would float to the top of the ocean during the oil spill and what would sink to the bottom. And so this has a very practical application as well. Thank you so much for joining us today. We really appreciate it. And we hope you have a nice day.